Hi, my name is Brittany Brookhart. I am from Wright State University. Did you know many things start out as a seed in some shape or form? We all have to start out somewhere. Animals, humans, and plants start out very small and gradually grow into an adult form. Although most of their processes mainly need time, many essentials and nutrients lend a helping hand. Some also last over different time spans than others. A human is known to last over 50 years, but a flower could go through its cycle 25 to 50 times in that amount of years. The life cycle of a sunflower begins and ends with a seed. The whole cycle lasts six months in a sequence of four steps. The first step in a sunflower's life cycle, coincidentally, is also the final step in the cycle. The shield is the flower's protector against the outside world. The seeds are in the form of black and white teardrop shapes. They often take a journey and are transported by wind or animals. It is important the seed is provided with soil that is watered on a regular schedule and has sunlight in order to start the next step, germination. The amount of water a sunflower gets is important to the sunflower's germination because it allows the outer covering of the seed shell to soften due to the seed expanding. Once the seed opens, the stem will break its way through and the stem will stretch toward the light and the roots will spread out in the opposite direction. This allows for a solid foundation for the adult flower. Once the sunflower has received enough nutrients and is strong, it will fully bloom. Sunflowers are special because they have a specific pattern in which their center can hold as many seeds as possible. This characteristic guarantees many possibilities of reproduction. Sunflowers are also known for their unique behavior during their budding stage, heliotropism. Heliotropism consists of the sunflower turning its head in the direction of the sun throughout the day as it shifts. Once the sunflower is near its end, it will stop this behavior and bend over and start to wilt. Following this, the seeds are once again carried away by the wind or by animals. Humans also replant the seeds and make gardens out of them in separate places. Additionally, fans and baseball and softball players have been bringing them along for years to enjoy while watching games.